So we have with us a very special student of ours, Dr. Sharwani, and uh, I would like to congratulate her. Heartiest congratulations on passing your DNB theory exams. Thank you so much, ma'am. <laughs> so, Dr. Sharwani, can you give us a brief introduction about yourself, your college, and uh, which year did you buy the conceptual anesthesia app? Yes, ma'am. I have taken a two-year subscription app, ma'am. Uh, my uh, app is going to be ended in this September. That means I've taken in a September only. So okay. uh, I belong to St. Philomena Hospital, Bangalore. Yes. So just now given a theory examination and, and uh, I am the first DNB student of my hospital in anesthesia. So oh, I, wow. yes, I was really scared. How would I do it? Whether to take up in a Philomena hospital or not? Yes. But uh, I am in uh, very much need to search of some app because we are used to follow Bhatia or Maro pep pep Ladder, which Correct. makes you a track. In yes. that, only I found this conceptual anesthesia new launch at that time only. So yes. I thought, uh, let us take, let us go with it. And I have taken one. Okay. That's very nice. And Dr. Sharwani, can you tell me how did you exactly use the app during your preparation? How hectic was your residency? Were you able to go through the app, the live lectures, the recorded lectures? How did you manage to do all of this? Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, live lectures, honestly, I have heard only four to five lectures because on a daily basis, I'll be having the PAC rounds in the evening. Since I am the only PG of my year, there will be little extra workload on us. Yes. So, but I will definitely follow the roster, whatever you have put the topics of that month. And, yes. Uh, I would follow the recorded sessions more often, ma'am. Okay. And in the second year, I used to attend the classes more often. But third year okay. starting, I was little discontinued. But during okay. the time of preparation, I found uh, whatever you thought in the neuroanesthesia was so easy for me than to read in any other books. Okay. So I found I have to catch hold of conceptual anesthesia only and I have followed all the topics, almost all the topics in the conceptual anesthesia because mm -hmm. the uh, if I could understand the concept, I felt I could write whatever they ask. And right. that in a so simple language you have thought as well. That is why I mostly followed your yeah, videos only. <laughs> Thank you so much. And amongst the books that uh, come with the app, there are seven books that come with the app. Were there any particular books that really helped you in your preparation? Ma'am, I have uh, totally used that uh, books, uh, which are previous year question paper books. Yes. I have almost finished those books in last two months. So that okay. have helped me a lot, ma'am. The rest okay. of the books, long cases, short cases and drugs, now I am studying for my practicals. On yes. the I feel all the books are useful, but for yes. my theory, definitely the previous year's examination questions were very helpful because I could find answer very easily instead of searching right. the apps and all. And also the amount of answer I have to write and what point I have to write, I got clarity from those books. Correct. And what would you suggest to your juniors who join anesthesia residency? Because, you know, um, we come from a background of MBBS where we have lots of time. And then we come to residency where we are overworked and we don't have much time to eat, sleep, any other activities. And then suddenly you have this exam that comes. So how would you uh, ask your juniors to prepare if they had more time and more direction towards the preparation of uh, their exams? Yeah. So for the juniors, whoever uh, takes anesthesia now, it's important to have a basic knowledge about the operation theater, how the things works in the operation theater and what is the role of anesthesiologist and how diverse he has to take care of the instruments also, mission also, the other sterility things. Everything we need to start learn from the first year onwards. And yes. the study part, you can start with any easy uh, textbooks or the lot of material which is available online or the um, apps like this conceptual anesthesia. So anything they take, they have to start from the basics and they have to finish almost all the basics in the first year itself. Later, the second year, almost we will be in the workload itself and we'll be exposed to the different, different surgeries. At that time, mm -hmm. I feel the practical experience helps a lot. For example, in my theory examination, they have asked the questions like pneumonectomy, Whipple surgery, VATS. So more than I have studied in the books, what I have performed in my operation theater helped me a lot to easily remember the points and put down on the paper in that short time in the examination. 
so the i feel the experience is also important both yes studying yes and absolutely hmm. yes did you ever uh, like watch a lecture of the app before going to that case like for example if you are talking about yes. doing uh, whipples or a pneumonectomy so hmm. we have actually uh, specialized on anesthesia teachers who have taken lectures on the app and would did that help you in your practical uh, ot knowledge as well yes ma'am yes ma'am definitely my hod used to ask questions to whatever the cases i go so this lectures definitely helped me to answer whatever i can whatever i understood and definitely that left a good impression on me that i also study something and come to the ot so yes uh, it is helpful ma'am and being the first resident in your hospital i think you have set a very high standard <laughs> for the rest that are going to follow i did not expect this because i don't know where i am going to all i know is i have to study and i gave till the last moment whatever i can so this happened <laughs> that's very nice and uh, any tips on dnb practical preparation something that you're following right now as you told us that you're using the long cases short cases and the drugs and instruments books are you using anything specifically from the app app so there are many case discussions in the app ma'am there are many students uh, to whom the many uh, the good uh, consultants and the lecturers being asking the questions and it tells me how i should approach to the questions or how i should approach to the case so those cases videos are helping me a lot along with the theory and whatever the points they miss in the videos are very much neatly represented in these books so yes. i like co the combination of videos and the books Yes, and I one more thing. I think you can even go through the OSCEs. Uh, yes. We have a separate section on the app, so that will come in your exam as well. Yes, okay. ma'am. I am going through OSCEs also, and also, ma'am, one more thing which has helped me in the last moment is the notes of the conceptual anesthesia. I have to give a special reminder to this because yes. I have bookmarked the whatever the recent advances happened in the anesthesia. and whatever the yes. topics which i don't find anywhere else i have bookmarked them just because mm -hmm. uh, just before going to the theory examination i have referred those and most of the questions have come in the examination so that helped okay. me to get the good marks i can say okay. and also the other pdf the recent advances pdf which has 100 questions that yes. easily gave me 20 30 marks easily the uh, recent advances book that we have added in yes 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 mm -hmm. okay Oh, yeah, that's really nice to you. Yeah, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. No, I said that's really nice to hear that all our efforts are actually helping you all in your exams. Yes, ma'am. And the pictureization in these books also very neat and colorful. So that gives more uh, uh, enthusiasm. Understanding. We uh, instead of black and white paper, the in other textbooks. <laughs> all right. So thank you so much, and wishing you all the very best for your exam. Thank you so much ma'am